Yo, welcome back to a new video. Guys, Black Clover is back with chapter 338 fan translations. We thank everyone who has worked very hard on this chapter. This chapter is very dialogue heavy, a lot of lore, a lot of story, and dare I say, a lot of character development actually happens in this chapter, especially for Asta, and we're going to talk about that moment very, very significantly, but guys, as always, we are doing a giveaway in this video at 500 likes, so I please, I beg of you, hit the like button, subscribe, this channel is closing in on 20,000 subscribers, which... Thank you guys so much for all your support. It just makes me so much happy to continue to make these videos. Uh, Black Clover is on break next week, so we're going to do some cool extra stuff. We're probably going to be covering One Piece in My Hero Academia very shortly on this channel as we look to expand this channel into broader and better things. With that being said, let's just jump straight into Black Clover Chapter 338 because there's a lot to talk about. <laughs> Yo, jumping straight into it, Asta wakes up, he is in the land of the sun, he is freaking out because it is a very long ways away from the Clover Kingdom. The art in this chapter is just beautiful, Tabata is the A of his game, Asta realizes that this is Captain Yami's homeland, he's in a foreign country, how is he supposed to get back? Ryu tells him, relax, it don't look like that Lucius guy's making a move anytime soon. Now, we still don't know exactly what Ryu's powers are, but he can tell that Lucius isn't making a move. Now, I just want to make a note here that last time it was supposed to be three days, top of the change to seven days. Right now, it was supposed to be seven days, so maybe Tobit has actually changed his mind to seven weeks, because seven days for Austin to get a power-up, for everyone to get a power-up in order to beat Lucius, kind of sounds weird. So, I guess we're just going to have to see what Tobit's real plan is. Uh, Asa asks him, you're the Shogun, but what is that? Ryu reveals himself. It's basically like the wizard king of the Clover country. You could say it's something like this. He also tells him, why don't you try to call me just Ryu? Because Asa seems to be struggling with Ryu do Ryu ya. I mean, I was struggling last week, to be fair. Uh, Asa says, maybe it's because I can't sense magic power, but you don't seem strong to me. And I'm just like, <laughs> yo, but that is a pretty good point. Uh, Ryu has no magic power, so a little interesting. Uh, on the sideline, the new girl, Ichika is her name to be revealed, is furious that Asa just said that. She is furious. She's like, watch your mouth, you dirty outsider. Yo, the racism here is wild and chill, Ichika. Uh, Asa says, I could tell from her key, but she seems really mad at me. But what is this? She seems familiar, but I feel like I shouldn't go near her. Now, Asta also said Ryu feels familiar last week's chapter and what's revealed at the end of this week's chapter. So I just want you guys to focus on who is Ryu. Okay. Uh, Ryu says, I'm sure you're shocked, so let's go explore the town. We see a, an eagle-eye view of the Land of the Sun, a small village. It, it's it's straight out of Japan, man. It's straight out of Demon Slayer. It looks amazing. I'm honestly excited for this arc. I hope everyone else is enjoying this arc as much as I am. I like a new country being explored. I waited a long time to see the Dwarven Kingdom, and for now, it looks like Tabata's focused on the Japanese Kingdom. Uh, also see some people doing some sorts of magic using scrolls. They're like, come one, come all. Behold the magnificent dance of fire and water birds. So it looks like here, uh, Asa asks him, that's magic, isn't it? But they aren't using Grimoires. We reveals here in the land of the sun, everyone uses scrolls to perform sorcery. Now that's interesting because we have seen scrolls before. Shocker, magic, and wonder. Tabata once again draws from the first 10 chapters or the first 20 chapters. When Yuna was in the dungeon, he saw a scroll and that scroll had the power of Sylph embedded into it. 
So, we've seen scrolls before. How did Sylph get into the dungeon? I still don't know. But that dungeon was said to have valuable and lost treasures in it. So having a treasure from the Land of the Sun isn't that far of a reach. It's a one-to-one -one scroll. There is no argument. So we'll just have to see if Tabata ever explains what that dungeon was really about. Because not only was Sylph in a scroll, Asta's other sword was also locked in that dungeon behind a wall. So kind of interesting. Asta finds some potatoes. He goes, oh my god, it's the Hajj Village speciality. And this is where we get some of the best character development I've seen Yuki Tabata do for Asta to date. Asta sees a young child and a mother... Or I guess sister, because the child calls her by Nichan and goes, let's go buy, let's go buy one of those potatoes. Uh, and, the, and the sister responds, I'll stick, we'll stick with the potatoes or something. And then we get a flashback of Asta seeing himself and Yuno with sister Lily. I think this is the first time that Asta has actually seen Lily. Not as a love interest, not as someone he wants to marry in the future but as an actual mother, as a sister, as his own family. He sees how the sister is helping the younger brother. And I think this is one of the most important panels in Black Clover because it's been a long running joke that also wants to marry Sister Lily, but a lot of people just took it at face value as a joke when it's not a joke asta grew up without parents he doesn't know that he shouldn't be romantically attracted to lily he doesn't understand love this is one reason why asta and noel can't work until asta gets past his trauma of sister lily and this was very interesting top that started off this arc with asta confessing to sister lily saying i know i can't change your mind so this is the last time i'm going to ask you and now in this chapter 338 Asta's realizing that yo she was never going to be my wife she was on all accounts my mother my sister my guardian my protector and Asta realizing this here is a very, very important step in him maturing for him to eventually end up with Noel. It's like a domino effect Tabata is set up. And I'm excited to see more developments going forward with this. And I think this is one of the reasons why Tabata made Sister a paladin. But I will talk about Asta's character development that Yuki Tabata has set up in a later video. Anyway, moving forward, Ryu sees those two and runs to them, says, hey, hey, let's let's move away from here. And then seconds later, BAM! Some lunatics crash through the wall, and Asta's like, yo, what? Did Ryu save those by accident? No, he moved them to that spot to save them. Once again, Ryu is showcasing key. I believe this is key at this point. Because Ryu doesn't have magic, so he's showcasing his future vision using key. Uh, in that moment, Ichika steps up, and so I leave this in your hands, Ichika, as you wish. Ichika just teleports in. She looks cool as fuck. These guys go to attack her, and she's like, do not touch me, you Cretans. Lightning starts going out of her eyes, out of her arms. Yo, she is Eren Jaeger in the flesh. Within a moment, she activates dark magic and just bang, 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 bang. <laughs> blasts them in a matter of seconds deleted wiped gone dead through the roof ko asta's like what was that just now for a moment it felt as her key swelled up tenfold her key yo not only yo i don't even know what she did but she used key to just have lightning coming out of his eyes her eyes and yo can you imagine asta doing that oh my god that'd be so cool anyway let's calm down she blasts them with dark magic everyone's like yeah she's one of them the seven reusin again with the number seven but apparently she's one of seven guardians of the land of the sun and then they call her you're the best yami dono asta's like yami you 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 it can't be runs over to her she grabs him and i'm just like oh no i've seen this before 
I have seen this before. No. She goes, don't approach me so casually, outsider. And re-reveals a chica is Yami's younger sister. If you want to get stronger, go get trained by him. The seven Ryuzen. Ryu Dono might be looking out for you. I really hate men like you. Captain Yami's little sister. What? Not only is she Captain Yami's little sister, this now shows us that Captain Yami's name isn't Yami. It's Sukihiro. His name is Sukihiro Yami. Her name is Ichika Yami. Yami is their family name, which translates to darkness. Captain Yami's real name is Captain Sukihiro, which is insane. Why? It makes sense because when Julius Julius didn't know about, or Lucius didn't know about the culture in the Land of the Sun. So when Yami introduced himself as Yami Sukihiro, because Yo Japanese people introduced themselves with their last name followed by their first name, Julius just assumed that Yami's name is Yami, but it's actually Captain Sukihiro. What? That's crazy. Wow, the reveal. That's actually insane. Dude, Black Clover, dude, it's just unmatched. Top of the nose how to introduce characters, knows how to introduce a new continent. This is 10 million times better than anything I've read in Shonen Jump. Black Clover is just on another level. Like, what do I say? It's just, it's just, it's just on another level. Nothing can even close to come to what Black Clover is right now in Shonen Jump. I, th I think a lot of people are walking away from this, but Asta's development in this chapter for the first ever time seeing Lily as an actual guardian, as a protector, not as a future wife, is very, very important to the story and how it leads up to him actually seeing Noelle as what she is going to be. We all know they're going to get together one way or another. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Jimmy, as always. Peace.